Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this is a really exciting vlog that I am bringing to you today. I'm filming this intro afterwards, but in this vlog I went to London to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which that is already exciting enough because it's been a very long time since I last saw the play. The last time I saw it, it was the cast three cast change performance. I actually ended up losing the footage of that vlog, so I never got to post the vlog to YouTube, but I did go and see the cast change performance of the third year cast of Cursed Child, which was back in 2019, I believe. So it has been a very, very long time since I last saw the play but this visit to the theatre is not only exciting because it's my first time seeing Cursed Child in 28 months but it is also the first Cursed Child performance in London in 19 months. The play like all other shows on the West End and the theatres across the globe not just the UK had to close down due to the pandemic. It closed back in 2020 and didn't run for 19 whole months and now it is finally back in the theatre doing performances to a full audience which is beyond exciting and I was fortunate enough to get a ticket to the very first performances back after the pandemic and so this vlog is my visit to the reopening of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in London. I was in London for three days. Now that I don't live at uni I live too far away from London to do day trips. If I go to an evening show I have to stay overnight so I, I ended up staying in London for three days because they had part one on Thursday and then part two on Friday. So it was a three-day adventure. It was an absolutely amazing experience and this is the vlog. So I hope you guys all enjoy this vlog of me going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child for the seventh time. This is my seventh time seeing it but first time in 28 months, 19 months after it had to close down to the pandemic. Enjoy! <laughs> My train terminated early at Basingstoke, so I have to wait for another train to get to London. So I'm not going to get to London as early as planned, but it's not like I really have anything to do anyway. So it's not the end of the world. I got a cup of tea, so I can drink that on the on the next train. We're now at the theatre. I'll explain the train situation when I'm back at the hotel because it's actually crazy. A major coincidence happened. We're at the theatre. Katie and Megan have gone into box office to see if they can get better tickets. And then we're going back to the hotel. Sup guys, I am now in my hotel room. I have a lot to update you on. It's been an eventful day so far, which wasn't planned. It's actually kind of crazy how things have worked out. The last place I saw you, I was on the train and my train was terminating early at Basingstoke and I had to wait for another train. The train I was waiting for got canceled as well. So then I was gonna have to wait for an even later train, but they suddenly announced, cause we were on platform three and they suddenly announced, oh, if you wanna go to London Waterloo, there's a train arriving on platform four in three minutes that will go there and so we this whole stampede of people we went over to platform four and this train arrived for London Waterloo and so I got on that train and it was really busy so like I knew I'd have to end up sitting next to someone so I go into the nearest carriage to me and I'm like looking to see where I should sit and I see a seat and there's a girl sat in it and I'm like she looks friendly I'll go sit next to her and so I go up to her and I'm like is this seat free and she looks at me and there's that look of recognition. And I, I then suddenly realized that I recognize her as well. And then I sit down and then she's like, you're Chloe, aren't you? And I was like, yes. And she was like, 
and Megan and I'm like oh. we had this realization because Megan is going to see Cursed Child today and tomorrow and her and Katie two of my friends from who I know from Cursed Child they booked the hotel that I'm staying at they had it booked first and I booked this hotel because they were staying here and so I would have someone to walk to the hotel with after the show so they were literally the reason that I booked this hotel and stuff and I somehow ended up sat next to Megan on her train like the, the chances of that happening for starters me ending up on her train when I originally was on an entirely different train and then for me to not only end up in the carriage out of like 12 or 10 carriages end up in the carriage that she's in but also to unintentionally sit next to her not even realizing it's her straight away like we were so baffled when we realized we were like how has this happened like it was such a crazy coincidence couldn't have been more perfect so we traveled into london together and then when we got to waterloo katie was there waiting for us we then all went for lunch together at a place it was called like the understudy or something it was at the national theater and we went there and we got some lunch together and then we came to the palace theater and they went into the box office because they found on the website that there were two seats in row a that were available and those are like very very good seats and they were like the same price as the tickets they originally had and so they went in the box office to see if they could exchange the tickets did that and they came out and they managed to get those tickets which is crazy exciting because there's like they've got insanely good seats now so i'm really happy for them and they were like because they obviously printed out the physical copies of the tickets that they they had the physical copies because they got it from the box office and they were like if you want a physical ticket you could probably go and ask and i was like oh i so I went in the box office because because of COVID and stuff, they aren't like they don't do physical tickets. Like normally when you book a ticket online, you can get the physical tickets sent to you or you can collect them from the box office. But they weren't doing that. They aren't doing that anymore. And so we got like AR code tickets sent to us. But like all of us who have been going to see Cursed Child since the original cast, we obviously have collections of Cursed Child tickets now. And so, you know, it made me really sad that we weren't getting physical tickets. So I went into the box office and i just went over up to them and i was just like um would it be possible to print my tickets for today and tomorrow and they were like yeah sure what's the the order number and i was like oh. so i told them the order number and now i have physical tickets this is beyond exciting look at this i have physical tickets for both parts that i am seeing this makes me so happy because now i can add this to my collection it's the same design as well which has the original logo on ak nice logo we don't like the new logo i probably won't use them at the theater because i do get why <laughs> it's best not to because of covid so i'll like scan my digital ones but i might take them with me just to get photos of them on the stage that is everything that's happened so you know originally i was planning on just being by myself for the day but it worked out insanely well that i've been i ended up with megan on the train and then got to hang out with her and katie it was really good to catch up with them because it has been so long since i've seen all my kind of child friends chilling in here for about an hour and then lucinda's gonna arrive in london and i'm gonna go meet her and we're probably gonna go to mcdonald's and then we'll go to the theater for part one it's still not so thinking in that I'm seeing Kershaw. It's been like 28 months since I last saw it. So this is kind of crazy. <laughs> My hotel's literally opposite the Forbidden Planet. Like, how perfect is that for me? <laughs> Going to see Lucinda now. Ah! Oh, please! <laughs> Come to me! Going to the theatre. It's still not sinking in. It's kind of fully, not fully. I don't think it will until I'm in my seat or like when it starts. But yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm at the theatre. I'm with Lucinda. Oh. Best friend, here we go, team. We're about to see Harry Potter and the Curse Show. It still doesn't feel real. <laughs> we are about half an hour away from seeing it. And it still doesn't feel yeah, real. It's when Mark walks out and pulls out. Oh, oh this god. Oh. <laughs> the music's gonna get me. I oh, haven't heard the soundtrack in so long. Just both been interviewed by We've like been interviewed by the official media. Cast Child social yeah. media scene, which is just very exciting. Very so we basically just told them all our feelings, which is quite nice. Oh, yeah. I hope they use some of it. I, yeah. I suppose at a later date when you edit this and if maybe it's published, it, you can put in the I'll bits put it that we're in this vlog. <laughs> I'll put us in this vlog. But pardon. 
Let's go watch Curse Jack! Yay! The official tagline of the show is 19 years later. But finally, after all the crap that we've been through with COVID, it is 19 months later. 19 months later. We are back. They're filming today, they're filming today. Oh my god. We've got three Legos. The program has a brand new design. How fancy, look at that. You probably can't see me because it's really dark here, yeah, but like, oh, I haven't seen that stage in so long. It's still not sinking in though. It's gonna sink in when it starts and I'm gonna be a mess. I'm so emotionally attached to this hat. It's unreal. <laughs> I've missed this place so much. Oh my god. Balcony is so steep, it's actually terrifying. Like, look how I am now. Listen to still start to come there. <laughs> I hope she's okay. <laughs> quarter past midnight so i'm not going to talk long i will just say a few things so we watched part one it was amazing i will talk in more detail about the show itself probably in the outro after i've seen both parts and stuff i will quickly mention here though that before the show started today the producers of cursed child sonia and colin along with the owner of the palace theater the three of them came onto the stage before the show started and gave a speech each which was really cool and really special it really kind of marked how big of a deal these performances are being the reopening and and things like that and it was so much fun because they asked people to put their hands up if they're like seeing the show more than once and I had to put my hand down when he said more than 10 times because this is my seventh time. But he kept going all the way to 80. And then he asked like beyond 80. And of course, my dearest friend Lucinda has seen the show in the triple digits. <laughs> and she ended up being one of the last people with her hand up and Colin, the producer, on stage in front of the entire audience at the Palace Theatre asked Lucinda exactly how many times she's seen it and she announced it and I could hear her speak all the way from the balcony it was really cool actually she got a little interaction with the producers I was so happy for her but yeah the speeches were really wonderful and then the show started and <laughs> I have many many thoughts I've made notes and stuff so I'll talk in the outro about the show and cast in particular but it was amazing I've missed this show so much i'm impressed because i didn't cry at all i came close a couple times and the closest i got was the very end <laughs> but i didn't actually fully cry at all during that which is interesting i feel like the same won't be said tomorrow though <laughs> during part two <laughs> but we will find out but yeah we saw it and then after the show a bunch of us hung out outside the theater for a little bit and chatted and then me megan and katie went to we we looked at going to get drinks at a bar somewhere but everywhere it was really full so we ended up just going to Sainsbury's and I bought some bread because I was craving bread for no reason and a drink and we came back to the hotel and I went to their room and the three of us just chilled in there and spoke about the show for a bit and now I've come back to my room and I'm going to bed and yeah that's basically it it's been an amazing day tomorrow I will be by myself to start with um, I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna go to Oxford Street because I really want to go to the Disney store <laughs> and then I'll come back here and meet up with everyone a bit before the show again I'm ready for part two yeah first day has been very successful <laughs> 
Good morning and welcome to day two in London. It's like 9am and it's so busy outside already. It's not like this back home. I live in a tiny town in the middle of nowhere. It's like deserted until later on in the day. So I woke up at eight and had a shower. Now I'm just waiting. Katie and Megan are gonna drop their bags off here. And once they've done that, I'm gonna go to Oxford Street. I wanna go to the Disney store because I think they have like a whole new floor dedicated to Marvel stuff. And on top of that, the Marvel stuff is gonna include things from the Disney Plus shows like Loki and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And that is just an absolute need. Another store, I think it's called Uniqlo or something. I saw it on TikTok and they have anime stuff so I'm gonna go there as well. Um, I'm probably gonna walk because it's like a 26 minute walk which isn't actually that bad and if you get the underground it takes 21 minutes like there's a five minutes difference I might as well just walk. For lunch I'm probably gonna try and find a five guys because when I was at university I lived in Southampton and I basically lived off of five guys. It was like my go-to whenever I got delivery delivered to the house which was quite often and I haven't been able to have five guys since I was at university which was months ago now and I miss it and I know there's five guys in London so I'm gonna see if there's one near Oxford Street and I'll go there for lunch. Heading to Oxford Street now. It's kind of raining today. I didn't bring a coat with me. CBA to do that. <gasps> I've already found five guys. Oh my goodness. This is like the very end of Oxford Street. I'm gonna go into the prime lot. Okay but there's five guys right there. Right next to the moon. That's very handy. Okay, I'm in the really big Primark. It is eerily quiet at this time in the morning. I love it. <laughs> I'm just getting some random stuff, getting some things that I need for Comic Con, because that's next week. <laughs> so, yeah, today's just going to be me browsing in shops and spending all my money, which I definitely shouldn't do. Getting some tights when I meet Tom Hiddleston. Because that's next week. They got rid of the Harry Potter section on the bottom floor. It was a massive Harry Potter section. That's making me sad. This is in the boys section. Since where did Primark have my hero stuff? Do you think a 12 to 13 will fit me? That's the biggest size they have. I got five guys. I got a hot dog and an endless supply of chips and an Oreo milkshake. It's my go-to at five guys. I'm very happy right now. So let me update you. It is now just gone two o'clock. I had my five guys and then I had a nap because I suddenly crashed and was dead tired. I'm still really tired, but I want to do stuff. I've still got a couple of hours until I need to meet with my friends at the Palace Theatre or by the Palace Theatre. I think Lucinda's getting in around about four, half four-ish. So I still got a couple hours. So what I'm thinking is I might get the underground over to King's Cross because it's about 20 minutes. And then at King's Cross, I can go to platform nine and three quarters, the YouTube space. I don't know if the creators store will be open but i can at least have a look at the youtube space and yeah i might just go hang in that area for a little bit and then i'll come back here before i go see lucinda and everyone i think that sounds like a plan also look at this jacket i got this from the disney store it's a black widow one it's got another logo on the back but i'll i'll give you a proper haul of like everything i bought at some point as for oxford street it was very good i basically like walked there to the bottom end near like Tottenham Court Road and then walked all the way up to the Disney store and then back. Okay, yeah, let's go to King's Cross. <laughs> is the one I'm wearing to Comic Con next week as Misa and Loki. I got it at this exact market like years ago and they still have the exact same one.
I'm back in the hotel. It is currently, it's just gone half five. So the theater opens in about half an hour's time. So I'll be heading back there soon. But to give you an update on what I got up to, I actually ended up doing quite a bit. So after my little nap and break here, I went out, I went to King's Cross and I went to Platform Nine and Three Quarters and I got some photos and then i had a quick look around the store i went to the youtube space it's currently completely closed down um i i think due to covid there was a sign on the door um so that's interesting so i wasn't there very long because that took way quicker than i thought it was going to i was like what can i do now <laughs> and i remembered that i looked at the possibility of going to camden because i haven't been there in ages so i went to camden randomly i went there with nothing to do other than like simply look around but it was really nice because i haven't been there in so long the vibes at camden are immaculate i love the atmosphere atmosphere there it's so cool so i just walked around went into a couple stores i found this shoe store where i bought my second og hartley boots and i went into some other places i found this like market hall a place that had some like anime t-shirts and then there was a an actual anime store and then i found the lock and watched some people doing lock stuff with boats and i went over the bridge and i just went for a bit of a wander really it was quite nice being able to just kind of walk around and enjoy the view and the atmosphere and the location of london because i haven't been to camden in so long it worked out really well because i got the underground back and as i came out of leicester square I saw Lucinda stood in the pavement on the pavement um so I was like oh my god hi and she was like oh my god hi I then walked with Lucinda to the palace theatre and we stood outside the palace theatre chatting for ages and then came back here and now I'm getting ready for part two I'll see you probably at the theatre for part two I'm really excited but I'm also I'm also really nervous I'm not prepared for you can hug me too if you like I'm not prepared for that bit if I break at all and cry during the show it's gonna be during that bit theatre's open gonna head there in a second i am protecting my program with my bread bag the bag that i got my bread rolls in it's like the perfect size yeah oh oh <laughs> so much happens in this part i'm actually not ready <laughs> let's go Bye -bye. 